Hi, I'm Freddie from New Gen Audio, and today I'm talking about Halo Vision. Halo Vision is a surround and immersive analysis suite. It can be used for any audio up to and including 712 channels, so that means it's suitable for Dolby Atmos, whether you're working on Dolby Atmos for music or an immersive mix for TV or film. There are seven different views, which are all customizable, configurable, rearrangeable, and resizable, depending on what you need for that specific project. Um, in the top left, there is the correlation web. This has all your channel labels around the outside um, and a straight line connecting each pair of channels. If that line lights up red, then that means that those two channels are out of phase. Next to that is the correlation matrix. This also shows relationships between pairs of channels. Each square represents one pair. So in the bottom left, you have the left and the RTS. Above that is the left and the LTS, and so on. If that square is all the way green, it means those two channels are perfectly in phase. If it's all the way red, it means that they're completely out of phase. And yellow, it means that they have a neutral phase relationship. With both of these views, you have an option called contextual correlation. If you switch that on, then it uses a new method of representing correlation, which we've developed. Most correlation meters don't take into account signal level. So that means that even if you have two signals which are out of phase, but one of them is much, much louder than the other, in which case it won't cause a significant amount of phase cancellation. In that situation, most correlation meters will still display an issue, a phase issue. But if you switch on contextual correlation, it takes signal level into account, which means that it will only flag up a phase issue if the signal level is close enough to actually make a difference to the mix. So you'll see here, if I switch that on for the correlation web, suddenly far fewer issues are showing. So of course you can switch that on and off, but it's just one less, um, one less decision for the audio engineer to have to make themselves. On the right hand side here, we have the time code, which is fairly self-explanatory, frequency spectrum. This can be used to show single channels or different groups of channels, and they can be color coded to suit your specific needs. In the middle here, we have the location haze. This is similar to what you might have seen in our Halo Up Mix plugin. The circular view is a top-down um, visualization of where the audio energy is focused in the room. So the brighter the color, the more audio intensity is there. And next to that is the sort of floor to, floor to ceiling view. Um, so you can see there that most of the energy is focused near the bottom of the room. This is only visible if you're working in a 3D format. So if you're using 5.1 or 7.1, for example, you won't have that square view because there isn't a vertical axis to the audio. To the left of that is the frequency haze. This shows the same kind of information, but it's split by frequency. So the closest to the middle is low frequencies and the further out is high frequencies. And again, next to that is the same information, but floor to ceiling. At the bottom is a true peak meter. In case you aren't already familiar with that, true peak is a slightly more accurate way of measuring peak levels um, as opposed to sample peak. So true peak takes into account peaks which might happen further downstream as a result of codec distortion. So that's Halo Vision. If you have any questions, then please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot.